Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are in the first week of CWL, uh, first month of CWL in 2020. So it's looking pretty good for us so far. 6 to 3 is the current score. So if we don't miss any attacks, we will be all good for this round of CWL. So we can look at our opponents. The only one I recognize fully is Tribe Academy, of course. Let's check how they're doing. So Tribe Academy has, what is that, five triples? It's pretty good. Uh, but their opponent, their opponent actually has seven. So that is very impressive. Uh, it looks like pretty much everyone's on track except for this. 5 attack and 9 star team. Looks like everyone is on track for at least over 30. Except for them. So, looks like it might be a tough round, or it's just too early in Town Hall 13 to tell. So, for this week, or this day, we chose base number 2. So, here's the plan. We're going to be using that Queen Charge Hog Miner attack again. And we're going to start from around 1 o'clock here. And the idea is to funnel this side, probably with Loons and a Baby Dragon. And funnel this side, I'm not sure with what yet. Maybe the King? And then have Queen, of course, right here. She'll take out the King and walk around to this air defense and we'll have a jump spell over this expo so then she can reach the inferno tower the Ar eagle artillery and expos and eventually the queen so she could take out all four heroes or maybe that's too much for her we'll find out so just one thing i'm trying to figure out here is should we have a siege barracks at six o'clock that would help with the cleanup a lot more and we could bring a lot less wizards in our army comp or should we have the siege machine the stone slammer at nine o'clock because there's no air defenses near here there's only one and once that's done that's pretty much over so that would leave a very tiny portion of the base for the actual hog riders and miners to attack from. So we'll figure that out and I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. So here's what I decided. I decided to go with the Siege Barracks State again because it's just my favorite Siege Machine, of course. So the real reason is the Siege Machine has... Both Siege Machines will have Hogs in it, so they'll help out a little bit. But with with it being on the back end, this Inferno compartment area, the Hogs will eventually get there anyway. So it would, so the Stone Slammer would be much more useful if this was on the flank. So maybe if I was dropping my Hogs on this side to go through the town hall this way then it would be useful to have the stone slammer over here but because the hogs will will but since the hogs will path there anyway for the back end i don't think it's as useful as having more cleanup troops and more hogs on the front end so while we're waiting for a couple of troops to cook let's look at a couple of attacks here's level 8 pidgey with the queen charge hog rider attack that he so so loves So he starts off with the king to funnel the queen bit and to take out this outside royal champion. So that's one hero down. And it's a damage CC. That is going to be very interesting for my attack, actually. Now he drops the queen, flanking the town hall a bit. 
So that's going to open the path for the town hall. And the reason why he has one miner in his army camp is so when the town hall is on its own, he can drop the miner onto the town hall and activate it. Then that's where the hogs will come in. So two witches and a baby dragon for that CC. I guess people are experimenting a little bit with damage CCs for now, while their bases aren't quite maxed out yet. Use the Royal Champion to funnel, I think. That is very interesting. But that does get the Inferno Tower, which then saves the healers quite a bit more than if we had like a free spell or something, or just drop the Hog Riders there. So I think that's really good value, actually. The rest of the CC comes out. Now he's going to take out the enemy queen for hero number two. Miner comes in as I predicted, and so do the hogs. He also uses the stone slammer. Sometimes he uses the stone slammer to open up an area for the queen to go in. And sometimes it's just to supplement the hog riders as is in this case. So I think he could have used the Stone Slammer or the Siege Barracks here. And it would have been just as good, but it would have had more cleanup troops to help out with the end of the attack. So that's why I like the Siege Barracks a lot more than the Stone Slammer in most cases. But the Stone Slammer has its uses, and so does the Wall Wrecker, so does the Battle Blimp. But I think this, I think the Siege Barracks is just going to be the default for me, at least. Depending on the army, of course. So that's that attack. And I think it is my turn to attack. Check the army one more time. Couple of wizards, baby dragons, some loons. Let's grab another loon. If you caught that, that was my hog rider army. Which I'm going to give it a try in Legend League. And maybe I'll make a video out of that. So. I think we're good for spells. Yep. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Okay, that's not super good. Oh, that is really bad. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to adapt quite a bit here. This is going to be tough. Not going to survive that king. So hopefully the queen swings down and doesn't attack this archer tower. Come on, queen. Come on. Come on. Swing back. Thank you. Okay. So this healer position is really scaring me. This is not what I was hoping for. Clearly. She does get the Inferno Tower pretty early, so that's good. CC looks to be three Ice Golems. That's kind of interesting. Let's get the Siege Barracks down. Okay. Let's get the rest of our troops down. 
and the queen just died without using her ability somehow. And that is going to be the end of the raid. Wow, that is really unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to hope that these miners can take up enemy queen. But I'm just not sure that they can. We will try though. Okay. Thirty seconds. Time is a bit of an issue. Yep, it's gonna be a ninety something percent. Unfortunate. Yeah. So, lesson here is, you can't always rely on the auto ability. Especially when there's so much damage on the queen. So I think it had the warden... I think it had both the warden, the enemy queen, and expo. Maybe even the royal champion or something. Maybe another point defense. And because the queen doesn't regain enough health in the royal cloak... She can still be attacked by the queen. Like, when the queen, when the enemy queen has a shot off in the air, and then the queen, then your friendly queen, pops the royal cloak at 1 HP. There's not enough HP regained by the royal cloak to shield her from an enemy queen's fire, if that makes any sense. So. I'll take a look at the replay. And hopefully that will shed some light on this. So, four times speed. King goes by for funnel. Luckily, he didn't have to use a heal spell on the healers. Queen was able to take out the Inferno Tower just in time. So here we have the CC coming out. Now let's slow it down. Free spell on the Warden to gain a little bit more health back. This is a really unfortunate position. And then the Queen. Oh wow. Yeah. It's really hard to tell what happened there. Let's take another look. So, the enemy queen, right at the end there, got the queen to like 1 HP or something. And now the enemy queen is ready to fire again. And the friendly queen is at 1 HP. Now the healers are healing her up. So there's the arrow fire. And I think the warden is just about to attack. So... You have the arrows. Now the queen's in ability. And now I think what happened there... I think what happened there is the expo fire actually got her. Because the expo has about two bolts left flying out on the enemy queen. Or on the friendly queen. Before, before the expo no longer sees the queen. So I think that's actually what happened. That was a really that was really unlucky, but it goes to show that you just can't rely on the auto ability feature for the queen at least. I think you can do a fairly good job with the king and the warden. Actually he does a great job with the king and the warden. But for the queen and the royal champion, the royal champion still could get attacked by like a single target inferno and then she wouldn't be able to get her ability off as well as she could so that's going to be the end of the episode i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i've been raised gaming and i'm out